Good morning. I am an Office Support Administrative Assistant for the Vice President of Mentoring. The Cincinnati Youth Collaborative is a nonprofit organization that was founded in 1987. Um, it provides mentors for Cincinnati public school children in the Cincinnati area. There has been a numerous amount of people who has ran the organization. However, there are a variety of community leaders, um, resident uh, members and councilmen and mayors and so forth that are involved in the collaboration of how CYC even came to be. And um, this is how it got started. CYC was uh, founded in, in collaboration to find what can make students better in um, their grades as far as their um, education and also to help them to be more encouraged to make it to post-secondary education as well. Um, I believe that it was started because there was some controversy in the grading systems, you know, ACT, SATs and so forth, and I don't think that a lot of our students were making the grade, as you would say. So this was made to give them more of an incentive to make them more um, capable of meeting those standards for Cincinnati Public Schools. The mayor, Mike Mallory, made um, January officially National Mentoring Month and they um, gave him a plaque in collaboration to him making that an official thing for Cincinnati um, Youth Collaborative and throughout Cincinnati itself. Um, it's made to provide a, an acknowledgement for all the volunteers and all the mentors who provide such a good service to um, students who attend Cincinnati Public Schools. You know, it takes a lot to come outside the box and do what they do, and a lot of them have families, they have their own um, things that they deal with with their children, and they do that extra, they go the extra mile to make sure that other children are um, making it in high school, and not just barely making it, but really succeeding highly so that they can make it to college and be very successful. During my experience that I have acquired since I've been here, that I can not only use um, the knowledge that I've gotten through school and through my experience here, but I am interested in, I would say, having my own nonprofit organization, and um, I would love to have some type of collaboration with CYC since they already have the children that I would need for my program, and maybe, you know, become my own director or even CEO. You have to be able to know how to talk to your coworkers, you know, your executives, as well as the parents to the students who are interested in becoming a part of CYC. It's very important for you to have that um, good communication because in order for your students to be successful, um, the parents have to be involved. And we also offer a program called um, Educational Talent Search, which is um, acronyms ETS. It provides um, a lot of open door opportunities for students to go on college tours and take college trips, which they can have the hands-on experience of what a college experience is about. We also have um, Project Grad, which is a program that helps the college students or um, potential college students to fill out paperwork and so forth and um, get them prepared for what is required to be a, a really good college student. And then we also have College Access, which is another program that deals with the same thing. Um, they're more so hands-on. They go to um, a lot of Cincinnati public schools. Um, and they also deal with children um, in lower grades so that they can also be prepared to um, know what is expected of them, not just in college, but in high school as well. This year we had a fifth quarter event that happens in the month of May to July and it's an extracurricular activity type of program that we provide the students with. We had a sewing club, we had a chorus club, we had um, a reading club, and I was a part of the reading club. Well, um, there's a school we went to named Euler, and um, we were dealing with students ages, um, well, grades, grade levels fourth and fifth, and fifth and third. Well, there's a young lady by the name of Cece, and of course my name is Cece, so I thought that was just really sweet. So I called a little Cece. Um, she was having some problems with her reading, and she was going into sixth grade. So her mother, you know, had her involved in our fifth quarter program reading group. Well, um, she turned out to be very phenomenal. She had a lot of problems with her dialect and pronunciating certain words, but 
for a little bit of time. I mean, the course was four weeks, mm -hmm. and then afterwards, you know, we was able to have a pizza party and so forth and give our little certificates. Um, it consists of making jewelry, and for me, by me being in the office, I don't get a lot of chances to have that hands-on experience with the kids, so it took me out of my element, but it was, it was more than worth it, and to see children excel in something that, you know, seems like to us, they don't have as many problems that they would normally have. It was phenomenal to see a pull through and to really enjoy the reading. And then, of course, we got a chance to play a little one-on-one -on -one basketball, which is always a plus. You're welcome.